Hi, my name is Daniel Frank, and this is Andrew Abraham, and we are students working on the Lehigh Hopper Project. Um, so far, part of this project involves control theory, which Andrew and I are both relatively new at. So in our spare time, we decided to work on a side project to help us um, learn some of the concepts that are involved with control theory. So to do that, we developed um, this project over here, which is the root locus. Um, we named it because it kind of looks like a locus. And, um, Essentially, we built it using spare parts from the hopper. So as you can see, this is actually um, a piece of land here. And um, this is various other electronics we found in the lab. And um, now I'm just going to explain to you a little bit more how it works. All right, so um, just come and zoom in. Take a closer look at the top here. Um, basically, the brains of this operation lie right here. This is the Arduino prototyping board. Uh, made by uh, an Italian company. And it's very nice. You can uh, uh, use the computer to quickly program in all kinds of control loops. Um, right now we have a control loop with a proportional uh, control. Uh, that's it. So it's a pretty uh, simple control loop. Back here we just have some supporting circuitry. Uh, nothing too spectacular. Um, up here we have a field effect transistor, a power transistor. So this essentially acts as our um, throttle mechanism, if you will, to uh, control the amount of current that goes uh, in and out of our electromagnet, which I'll introduce you to in a second. Um, this tail portion back here, which is painted black, is our gigantic heat sink for our field effect transistor, and it does get relatively hot, so it's a good thing that it's so large. Um, in the back, we have uh, these nice power resistors, which look like a little bit of a uh, armor perhaps on our locus, but uh, those are uh, necessary just to dissipate some heat. Now of course you're probably wondering what exactly does this contraption do? And Andrew's going to demonstrate. In just a second. So Andrew also, has in his hand a uh, permanent magnet. It's actually a relatively strong one. And attached to it is a, just a regular, a regular screw. screw. Wood screw. Um, so over here in the front of our locus we have a uh, nice electromagnet that we uh, constructed ourselves. Um, on the top is just a heat sink to keep that magnet cool. Um, underneath the magnet we have uh, some aluminum blocks and inside the aluminum block we actually have a hull effect probe um, which measures the amount of uh, magnetic flux that passes uh, straight through the hull probe. Um, that corresponds to a voltage which is sensed by the Arduino uh, control board. Um, so, uh, when I take this magnet and I place it underneath the electromagnet, you'll notice that our controls start kicking in and we can levitate the magnet quite nicely. It can give it a little bump and it will move a bit and eventually dampen out. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't program that damping uh, into our uh, Arduino control board. Um, we couldn't uh, precisely figure out how to uh, provide uh, derivative control because there's an unfortunate coupling which occurs between the Hall effect probe and the electromagnet. So from a hardware point of view, it's uh, not an ideal situation, but uh, I figured out a clever way to work around that. If you actually take a look at this uh, aluminum here, what happens is in this aluminum, when I put it in the presence of a magnetic field uh, and I want to change the magnetic field uh, due to the Faraday effect, eddy currents are produced inside this aluminum block which opposes that change. So in essence, this block of aluminum acts as a damper. And so when I disturb the system a little bit, it should dampen that motion right out quite nicely. But you can observe that this system has very little friction as I can rotate this quite nicely and give it a second and it should dampen out and yeah a little bit of precession but it just continues rotating uh, without any uh, real friction perhaps just some due to the atmosphere uh, the air drag but uh, that's it